great. A little bike ride along Scarborough Beach front. We've cycled here from uh, Floriet, um, from Kenny's place. Took us about 20 minutes. It's, a, it's great because there's a cycle path all the way along. You're never on the, on the road. You all right, Lenny? So the, there's a beach pool over there, look, a swimming pool. Lots of uh, bars and eateries along the front, look. Toilets. Lots of accommodation. Climbing wall, on a skate park. It's not such a sunny day today, there's a bit of cloud in the sky. It's like another playground there for the kids. Mobile scooters for hire. Yeah, very nice for a holiday. Opera Beach is okay. Well, I think we can vouch for that. the dunes oh look what we found here is it a I wonder what the collective noun is for a pod of Pearsons a herd we left Perth this morning and we came and now we're down the coastline and we've stopped at a place called Mandura and we've taken a, a walk around and it's absolutely gorgeous. Yes and just to prove it I'll give you a look. It's all built on on a sea and an inland lake or several inland lakes. Definitely very nice indeed. She's at it again. <laughs> oh, <gee. laughs> right, come on, do something exciting. Oh, God. Right, come off quick, quick before you get arrested. Hi, folks. Well, uh, today we moved uh, from Perth and we headed down the coast to uh, Busselton. Um, but on the way we stopped off at uh, Mandura as well which was really nice uh, and yeah we settled in at uh, on a big four I think it's a breeze campsite isn't it Len? Mm -hmm. um, and bustled in uh, looks really nice and uh, looking forward to explore it so what do you say Linny? Yeah it was lovely we spent a couple of hours in Mandura um, had a lovely boardwalk we ambled along, had a nice coffee. Oh, I had a brilliant uh, muffin, muffin, didn't I? Yeah, best um, muffin yet. And the town, yeah, it, it, it was very pretty round yeah. by the lake. Yeah. How many kilometres did we do today, Lenny, from Perth to Bustle then? We did 252 All right, kilometres. So 
Okay, so um, let's explore Bustleton, and I think we're going to go to the uh, famous Bustleton jetty. Okay. Um, so we'll uh, get some pictures of that. All right. Bye for now. Bye for now. So we've cycled along the, uh, the bike path along by the side of the ocean this morning to Bustleton. Um, and now we're just going to have a little walk around. We're going to go on the longest jetty or the longest wooden jetty. I don't know whether it's in the world or whatever, but I'll soon find out. But oh, it's, it's very nice. We've got Lynn sitting over here. Look. Do you want to know a little bit about the jetty? Is it the longest wooden jetty? It is jetty? the longest wooden jetty in the southern hemisphere. Southern hemisphere. And it's 1.8 kilometres long. And in the past it was used as a working like jetty back in the 1900s. Right. But now it's just totally dedicated to tourism and there's a little train on it even. Oh, cool. The Bustleton Jetty. There's somebody else swimming this morning and we basically cycled all along the front there so I don't know whether you can see on this camera but some buildings back there uh, all campsites along there beautiful stretch of beach and uh, here is the aforementioned jetty oh look they've got a uh, fenced off swimming area there, look. It's good. Excellent. Right, come on, honey. See how that. What? Obviously, the, this was damaged the jetty back in 1978 due to Cyclone Albi, and it, it obviously took out quite a, a large section of the jetty, but it was left for years. Nice. And then, due to the con a non profit organisation <coughs> in Bustleton, they brought it back to life and can it's... I, can I say you're looking very slimy this morning? It's the sunscreen. <laughs> you've got loads I've put, I've I think you've gone over the on. top of the sunscreen. Right, but, go on. And what's good about oh, this jetty right. as well, I haven't got to it yet, but there's an underwater... Don't get too close. There's an underwater observatory uh, where you can oh, view well, we'll the... Oh, we'll have a look. Yeah, right. definitely. Are we going to get the little train or are we going to no, walk? No, we're going to walk and oh, maybe really? get the train back here. Yeah. You've cycled, you need I to know. get your steps in too, That's you know. That's why you made me cycle about two kilometres down the, the promenade. It is a historical wooden jetty that, right. I mean, it was very much, uh, it, it was used as a working jetty, but I don't, they've created another one, I think. Right. Uh, but it's Come not on. as good as the old one. Yes. They never are. The old stuff's the best. Is that what you reckon? Yeah. That's why I'm brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Seen the little swimming pool? Yeah, I know. It's cool, isn't it? It's like a natural city swimming pool. Well, look, that looks like a nice place for lunch or drinks or both. A nice lager when we come back, maybe. I need it if you make me walk all the way down that jetty. You should do. You should do. This one over there. There you go. I don't know whether you can see us both there, but... We've got our hats on and our sunscreen, as I said. You've say. got too much sunscreen on. Huh? I just don't want to get burned. That's nice, isn't it? That's lovely. Right, so it's a little amphitheatre there. And some more bars and cafes. Visitor centres over there, another look in. The Goose. Well, there's plenty of... Uh, Hostelries to partake in. Well, she's right, it looks like there's a little train going all the way along. Look, she's, she's swatting up to see if she can find some facts for the vlog. Plenty of places to park your bike. Okay, we're on 
the Bustleton jetty now and we've got two kilometers or just short of two kilometers to go to walk, walk. yes and look at the but isn't way. it gorgeous i mean look at this it's beautiful right here we go Bustleton Jetty Artificial Reef and Structure Trail. Some fun facts. the platform for the train it's a bit early, isn't it? yeah, I don't think one o'clock or something works, isn't it? Yep. So, it's an underwater observatory, we'll have a look at that later and this is the end of the jetty literally two kilometers off to sea or just under the sea's pretty flat let's look back at the shore see our caravan paths over where you can see those buildings So you can you can swim out here. We've got an area roped off. You can uh, dive off the platform apparently for four dollars. There's Lenny look. So do you know all about the jetty now? You know all about the jetty, do you? One of yes. a few structures where you, you can see the humpback whales and you can see the southern right whales um, without oh, going on a boat, you know. Very good. But some people snorkeling down there. Oh, these are sculptures. Yeah. There was a dive boat a bit further back as well. So, Linny, what do you think of the bus and jetty? It's stunning. It's just Mother Nature at its best. It's just, it's just stunning. Yes. The, the water, there's the bird life, the sand. Uh, the, it, it's just, a, we're going to so, go into the underwater observatory. Are we? All right. And it's one of six natural um, habitats that you, where you can see. Right, well, let's go and do that.
So we're just having a, a little bit of a dusk walk along the beach near our campsite in Bustleton. The water's lovely, the sunset has just happened. Lynn's having a little paddle, I'm having a little paddle. It's absolutely gorgeous, but look. So, there's the moon up there. The sun's just gone down behind those those hills or whatever you call them. And our campsite's just up the road here. And there's a few people out. A few people fishing. And there's some people swimming. It's just gorgeous. We're here on the southwest coast and we're here at Cape naturalist lighthouse and the route that we're doing is the cape to cape route so this is the first lighthouse on the on the road that um that prote has protected the the ships and that and it's been a working lighthouse up until 1996 but now it's just totally touristic and the next and the second one uh the, the other one is the, at the Cape, Cape Leewin Lighthouse. At and Cape. that's it at Augusta. All right, very good, Linny. More facts <laughs> than you can shake a stick at. <laughs> Hi. Well, today we moved from Bustleton down to Margaret River. Uh, we roughly did about 106 kilometres. And on the way, we did stop off at Cape Naturalist Lighthouse and had a little look around there. Yeah, that was really beautiful view of the sea from there, wasn't it? And uh, we're actually staying on the Jarvis Estate. Uh, it's a winery and we're actually uh, sort of parked amongst the, the vineyards. It's, uh, um, it costs $25 a night. And it's uh, it's sort of off grid, so you have to be totally self-contained. And it's one of the only wineries in Margaret River that, uh, like, um, allows, camp allows camping. So yeah, um, we are uh, looking forward to exploring the Margaret River area, and uh, you know, doing a little bit of wine tasting at the Jarvis Estate. Yeah, look forward to it. All right, see you soon. Bye. Bye. So uh, here we are at Margaret River, this is the uh, town centre. This tavern looks very popular. Yeah. Like there's lots of bums on the sea. Let's have a little look up and down the, the high street. Yeah, nice lots of little bars and shops and things. I didn't realise the hairy marron was a creature that obviously lives in the rivers. Here. What? It's a real one, or is it a, an imaginary the one? The coffee house yeah. is named the hairy marron yes. for that reason. Right, but is it a real creature, or is it like a fictional thing, like no, a leprechaun? It's, in, or... it's endangered, but it's here right. in the river system, and okay. you also have. Um, what? Um, it's a a bur it's a burrowing burrowing <laughs> crab. Burrowing. It, do you it's mean? some sort of crab that bur burrows. <laughs> Don't ask me. It's easy for you. But to obviously, say. it's uh, it's another thing that's endangered. Endangered, isn't it? Have you been drinking again? Hey, I had a load of red wine yesterday. We know all that. Five kiwis that adversely affect the barret. Right, come on.
towards the coast. Um, we're going to have a little walk along the beach, which is Gristown's not that far from Margaret River. It looks very inviting, and that water looks a gorgeous colour. <laughs> I'm going to paddle my feet and make the most of the evening. Right, you're going to put your feet in the ceiling. Yeah, what a great spot. Wave. Oh, oh. <laughs> Just wet my shoes and my socks. She's in a bit of a happy mood because she's had quite a bit of wine at the wine tasting and she thought it was hilarious that I got caught out by the waves and got all my shoes wet. So look at her little face all smiling. Are you happy? Oh, and you say, oh, it's beautiful. I wouldn't mind you getting on I'm not going, no. Come on, pick yourself. What do you think? I'm not you going on that rock. I think I've found a mermaid. What did you say? How dare you think such a mermaid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, nearly. What a beautiful little bay this is. It's got everything, it's got a nice beach, it's got rocks. Gorgeous. And there she is. That mermaid's turned up again. There you are, Geraldine campsite, is that us? Booking information, please stop and read. Well, we're already booked in, aren't we? That's the fire department guy. Campground host at site two. All right. Total campfire ban. Total campfire ban, yeah. Fees are payable. And the night yeah, we've already we've paid. We've already paid, haven't we? Right. Still, what? That's still recording. Yeah, yeah, it's still recording, yeah. So don't swear or say anything rude, Lenny, like you normally do. All old bottles of wine are <laughs> rattling in there. <laughs> the booze bus, the booze bus. So we're on campsite number one, right? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Deep into the forest we go. Into the jungle where all the snakes are. <laughs> Sorts of creatures. I'm sticking to the paths, don't you worry. This road just keeps on going. It's like shake and rattle and roll. Oh, there's, a pe there's a people walking sign there, so that must mean we're getting close to something. Alright, what's that? There's a tank. Right, group camping. Sites 1 to 36. Or group. Oh, group camp and campsites 1 to 36 is this way. Campsites 1 to 12. So we're on campsite 1. 
God, Snowy's going to need a wash after this thing. I mean, she was starting to look a bit grubby as it was. I think this is the... the what? This road's the, the longest we've been on that's been... It's on the sea. One way. That's good, because I don't fancy... T oh, this is us here. Huh? This is, oh, this oh, is, this is us. nice. Look at this. So, oh. which way do you want to park? Well, Do you want I to don't... face... It doesn't matter because there's no PowerPoint, so do you want us to face that way or do you, want, you don't want to be looking at the forest here? Well, either way, you're going to... No, actually, I'll do it this way because... I think you should go in forwards. Just go you, in forwards. Your seats will be that side, right? So as long Inside. as I give plenty of room for people getting past on the one-way system... Oh, look, there's a little... Little bench we can sit out. Oh. Eh? I don't want to get too far in. Well, this is nice, isn't it? <laughs> so these are the facilities at the Jarradine campground. Um, there's two composting toilets over there. There's um, a shelter here with uh, barbecue points, seats. Um, yeah, and uh, there is water there, but it's... Uh, not drinking water, you'd have to boil it if you were to use it. Yeah, it's um, it's good, and the cap, the sights are really good, level, on gravel. Yeah, it's uh, Lynn's having a look at some buck here. Yeah, there's lots of um, lo lots of picnic tables and things. Very nice. So what do you think, Mrs. P? Well, I think this area, as I say, we've come down Caves Road and there's so many cave systems, but also the forestry, obviously it was a big timber industry, so a lot of the people would chop the trees and then transport wow. all the, the timber to Bustleton. But now it's just gorgeous national parks with cave systems. It's a really good layout because each of the sites, each of the sites has its own, um, you know, little bench, uh, picnic table, plus it's it's area marked out. I mean, that's five, this is six. So look, if you park there, and then six has got its own little, little area down there, which is cool. Seven again, it's got a, it's area plus a, a picnic table and each one's got like a barbecue um, fire pit if you like and uh, this one's good right opposite the, you know, the shelter and the toilets, oh, it's excellent. There's pitch 11. It's a smaller one, but look, not only have you got your own little uh, yeah. picnic table and fire pit, but look, there's even a little area for you to, <laughs> to sit out and everything. Brilliant. Although I do like, oh, pitch house is quite big. 12's nice as well, look. Back in there. And here we are, this should be back to us. This is back like a little loop. Huh? Turn right, pitch number one. There we are. There's Snowy. This is uh, Hamlin Bay. So, this is famously where you've got lots of big uh, stingrays and stuff that you can interact with. On the shore, there's a few four by fours on the beach there. Look. Yeah, a long, big sweeping bay. A yacht and some sort of little island over there. Then so this is like a sort of beach brush dune type of area. Oh, <laughs> you can tell my uh, naturalist. Skills leave something to be desired, but there. I'll just do another sweep of the bay. You can actually see the uh, the stingrays 
from here where those people are look there they're just gliding up and down the shoreline Shark spotting helicopter was, uh, you know, sounding its alarm earlier on. So I don't know whether that means there's a big, big shark out there somewhere. Well, he's Andy going into the water. Uh, it was only five minutes ago that the helicopter came over, sounded its alarm, and. What we've been told is that there's a dead whale and there's a tiger shark beating off it. Um, and obviously they reckon there's, there'll be more coming to feast off it. Um, so Andy's going to go up to his waist, so just wet his shorts, he's not taking any chances. Even though it's a beautiful bay, um, he's just going to go up to his shorts, waist. He's not going to go for a swim. the uh, mouth of the Blackwood River at Augusta. So there's the estuary. That's Lynn over there. There's a few fishermen out. There's a little uh, cafe there. And our campsite's actually behind those trees there. So the town's up on that hill there. And this is the estuary, and look how clear the water is. And this is the uh, start of the campsite. It's very nice among the trees. And this walkway we're on goes all the way up to the town, which is nice, which is about, I don't know, 10 minute walk away. You've got gym equipment and kids play areas and things on the front. And then just look at how close we are. snowy there and Lynn's left the washing out <laughs> so very glamorous lots of picnic tables and everything along here so I think what I've noticed people go to that cafe we just passed get coffee and then sit out in front of the estuary um, and they cater well for the fishermen as well as all um, bait cutting stations so yeah you saw where snow he was and he's access to the to the estuary a pub with a view at Augusta over the Blackwood River. We 
here we are on the uh, southwest tip of Australia. So um, we thought this would be a good uh, point to end the vlog. Vlog, vlog, vlog. Um, yeah, where two oceans meet. So uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you on the third leg, which is really down the southern coast of uh, Western Australia. So uh, we'll see you in the next one. See you, bye, Lynn. Bye for now. Bye.